everybody. It's that time of the week again. I uh, hope that light isn't too bright. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it should be okay. And uh, let's see if we've got anybody here. Hi, Scotsman, how you doing? First, bang. Good evening. All right, okay. So, um, today, first things first, let's get the, let's get the whiskey going. Um, today, I have been mostly um, drawing outliers books. So uh, for Joe Fulton, so there's this one of the pages um, that I've done today. I did a couple of pages today. So um, what I do is a uh, digital pencil and then print out the blue line. Uh, so I've just started on this page, which is page five. Um, there's no way I'm going to get all this done this evening. So what I'll do is I'll just focus on this panel here. Uh, where high T is uh, kneeling over Mini Mart because Mini Mart's been slapped against the against the tree, as you can see in this previous page here, it's just been whacked against that tree. So um, he's just kneeling over and checking that he's okay. So what I'll do is I'll focus on this panel, and uh, hopefully I'll get it done within the hour. It should do. It takes me about. Um, so I did two of these today. I think they took about three, three and a half hours each to ink. So uh, two a day is, is fairly comfortable. Um, if you're doing a long day, you could maybe get three in. So uh, I'll just start off. Uh, get going. Right, so the first pen I'm going to come up with is this one. So I haven't got any music on, so I'll put some BB Black Dog on in the background and I'll take a swig. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Hey, the ninja. How's it going? Oh. That's really nice, that first hit of this. That was lovely. Right, so um, I'm going in with a pen tail first. Because that's good for getting the, the basic lines down. It's got a nice weight on it. It's a nice broad line. But I basically use it for the um, and stuff. Uh, so especially good for building up thicker lines as I get closer. To the foreground. Just, it, just, I really find it a really useful pen for that stuff. Um, and then I get yeah, onto this one, which uh, I can't remember the name because I've forgotten names, uh, to do the, the feathering and shading and stuff. Find this one's better for than that one. So, what's been going on this week, then, eh? So, uh, was I don't know if I'm going to get struck for this. I suppose I might, I might have only got 750 bloody subscribers. So I'm not one who gets struck for anything I say. Um, so was it a lab leak or not? That's the big thing. Did, did COVID come from a lab? Or did it come from a bat? I don't know. That's well, been a bloody pain in the arse, you can tell me that. Uh, but the good news in the UK, I heard today, or at least, it looks that way, is that they've uh, they've ditched the whole idea of having passports to like go anywhere, as in 
COVID passports, you know, I need to go back to car or something like that, which would have been absolutely bloody hard. So that, it looks like the government has come to its senses over that one, but they'll probably try and do something else to us. Um, I heard a, a story today, I think I was watching, um, watching Sweetcast channel, Clint over there. Who uh, I have a lot of time for, um, and he was—he he had this tweet up. And he was talking about um, someone had refused to sign a book for a fan. It was for a kid as well. He just dropped like fifty bucks on a on a uh, sorry, excuse me on a young. Um, variant cover or something of a book and uh, he said to the, to the artist uh, I don't know if there's an artist or a writer basically would you sign it and the guy was like mm, not for free no and you just think well scumbag why would you ever do that I mean I mean to a kid <laughs> this is the scummy thing to do I mean, not that anybody would want my autograph, but I'd just give it to people, you know? If you're, um, if you're dropping cash on a book that I've worked on and I'm benefiting from that, well, I, would, I want to encourage you to buy more of those books, buy more stuff by me. So, yeah, here's my signature, you can have it. You know, it's not like it's the same one I sign checks with or anything. <laughs> Take the signature, it's free. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty rotten story. But it seems the uh, entertainment industry in general, but but comics, you know, they're just it's just full of arseholes like that. Well, I don't, you know, don't want to put the whole industry down in one fell swoop. There's a lot of good people. There really are. I think there's more good people than bad. It's just the arseholes seem to have the. Uh, The control over what's, what gets said out loud. Maybe it's just uh, Twitter. On the plus side, of course, the, the other news was it was it Mark Millar? I don't know. Somebody was saying that um, like only twenty percent of the audience are on Twitter, and, or ten percent, or something, and then only five percent of them are active. <laughs> it's like, all right, okay. <laughs> stop trying to sell to Twitter, then just make comments. But there you go. It's a weird world. And uh, I feel I must apologise to the uh, CCCP right now uh, before I actually say that Taiwan is a country. Just wanted to drop that in there. I doubt I'll be on any of their target lists. <laughs> Oh, hey, yeah, George, how you doing? So, once again, BB Black Dog in the background for any. Uh, Algorithms that happen to be listening to me, BB Black Dog, who I work with, and they're my pals, or at least I am his, <laughs> he's a lead singer, and uh, he's quite happy for their wonderful music to be on the background. Uh, so, steampunk or rock, bizarre stuff. Good fun, man. 
nice to have something on the background that looks silent, and I can't think of anything to say because I'm not very good at talking to people. Bug. Summer's coming. Well, summer's here now, I think. I um, was uh, out in the garden this week planting some new plants. It was very good. <laughs> and uh, did some training in the garden today because there wasn't any class because it's a bank holiday here. I think it's, uh, is it still a, a holiday over in the States? Memorial Weekend, is it? Um, well, well. Um, so yeah, did some training in the garden and went out, I uh, oh, had some dinner, went out for a walk, enjoyed the evening sunshine. I do believe the summer's here. Pretty much the foreground is what I wanted. We go to this guy. Get the shade in it. Mm. So it's uh, Everybody's been enjoying their time off. It's quite dry, there's a bummer. Do that too often. Still doing rookie mistakes. <laughs> so I've done with this page. I don't know what would be showing up on the full brand. Thursday, it might be this page, it might be the others. And um, Joe's keen to let everyone see the first 24 pages, kind of as we do them, so that people can see how it's coming along. But uh, I know the second 24 pages will be hidden. Uh, and of course, you won't see the script, you'll just see some of the art on the first 24 pages. People can see how it's coming along. That's quite a good idea. Uh, so that people can see you know, just how it comes together. Uh, it's always a uh, It, it, you know, it, it builds interest in a book to actually see it come together. And that's one of the most um, pleasing things about the way indie books have progressed. That you can do things like what I'm doing now and show people progress. Uh, I think it's uh, it means you connect more with people. Which one is a good thing? Good bits for you, the good to bring your working practices. 
and I get to trust you get getting something done. And the more likely to think, yeah, I'm going to break that project. These people are serious. You know, they, they love comics. Uh, and, you know, they can actually like them. They're not just uh, pulling my leg. It's very important. Hiya Joe. Yep, this is uh, Outliers. And, um, I think I think Joe will probably be um, going for a campaign star in the autumn because we're going to get most of this finished before then. Why did you do the faces first? Just curious. I just got in and with a small pen. Um, also, the, the lines I'll do um, digitally sometimes, not always, just depends. Some of the diagonal lines don't work quite as well if you do them digitally, so I do them by hand. Out in the real world. But, um, just depends how I feel about what I'm doing.
Vinny, damn, I'm, um, thank you for coming, it's, uh, someone like yourself turning up, it's great, honoured, thank you, I suppose we'll stop drinking whiskey and go on and draw, <laughs> So what's the latest book, Benny? What are you on at the moment? Is that the pirate one? Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna put that out there. It's worth putting that up. But it's in. Benny says it's good, it fucking is. I think it is the pirate one, isn't it? I've forgotten the name of it. I have backed it, so I'm looking forward to getting it because the sample art looked fantastic. Ooh. Oh, I have to stop that. Sometimes StreamYard does that, I'm not sure quite how that works. Okay, Get some trees in. this way for the trees just for this I just want I wanted to give the bark some detail but not at the top so I'm just going to make it down these lines a bit and bring some of the flicks just to give it some texture and not, nothing too much because I don't want it to be over the top doing there because stringing on to stop doing what it does. Let's see over here, see if that helps. Is that better? Not very good at all this uh, streaming stuff. I do my best. 
I used to be good with technology. I used to be a programmer, you know. <laughs> Had my own software business. And uh, I used to program in C Sharp, VB Sharp, C++. Uh, that was back when HTML was HTML4, not this five stuff they've got now. I used to do all kinds of stuff. Loops within loops. Cool, thanks, Finny. Uh, all kinds of things I used to uh, program. But uh, now I haven't got a clue. I stopped. Started drawing instead. It's much better. I don't have to keep up with the latest technology. Well, apart from streaming on YouTube, of course. <laughs> But you know what I mean. I don't have to build anything anymore. I keep my website updated, although I really should make a new one, I think. But uh, I keep that updated. I use um, PHP on that. I know a little bit of that. Enough to uh, make the website work. It seems like a bloody age away, I tell you. So I stopped. I stopped my software business in 2009, 2008, 2009. Yeah, I stopped, stopped the business in 2008 and uh, then did some online projects with some other people, building some other stuff. Um, it's like uh, for um, uh, leisure centers, like uh, gyms and that kind of stuff. We built some booking software. Um, and um, once I'd kind of done all that, I had, uh, I had like a, uh, um, like a, um, monthly retainer to do some work for some uh some guys over in london who who basically did e-commerce stuff and i did that for a while but uh i just thought sod it i'm gonna draw again uh so i jacked it all in sold the house my wife was very understanding <laughs> Uh, we jacked it all in, moved away from what we had, and uh, the rest is history. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do, you know. Oh, no panel. Lots of forest stuff in the background here. So I want to give it a proper background, but you know, not over the top. You don't want to focus or to, to lose focus on on what's going on. So um, don't want to overdo that. Right. I'm going to use the pen now because I just want some fine lines back here. So there's that panel. So he's got like a crack, big crack in the in his helmet 
where um, the guy threw him against the uh, against the tree. I think that'll do. You can see that. Okay, so there's that panel. That's how that ended up. Like that. What time we got? Can you done off now? Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. thank you, Lord Crackhead. I think what I might do is some um, this panel. I'll just do this panel to the right, where the, he's he's queuing up to get to give him a kick in. And um, so I'll just flick in the hair with the brush. And then I'll uh, do the rest with a pen, I think. Hiya, Woolly. How are you doing? How long till I get my book, Woolly? Elsa Dark. Is it Elsa? Is that how you say it? Elsa? Isla? with that pen. Love these pens. Yeah. Tombo. Bloody brilliant they are. Really give the feeling of a of, of a fine brush. Don't I'm really not into using fine liners. Just I, I don't like the the evenness of the lines. So if I couldn't have found this pen. I'd have, I'd have struggled on with a brush on these finer lines and it probably would have taken me a lot longer because you have to really think about it um, but these pens are superb can't say enough about them enough good things about them
It's on track to ship last week of July. Oh, you added an extra 12 pages. No problem. I don't mind waiting for that kind of content, mate. But yeah, excellent. Really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to that. I, uh, I finished watching The Night Manager this week. Um, bloody hell, that was good. Not infected with any of that. I don't know how old it is. I think it's a couple of years old, isn't it? Uh, but not infected with any of the white tripe at the moment. It was really good. I mean, obviously, you know, what was, what was great about it, it, it did have a message. You know, it was talking about, you know, serious issues with government and um, corruption and the Middle East and all that kind of stuff. But it, it was also ambiguous in some ways. Uh, it, it let you think for yourself, or at least I felt it did. I really enjoyed it. And um, is it Hiddleston, Loki? Um, I wasn't, you know, I heard some people talking about him saying, oh, well, you know, he could be the next James Bond and all that. And I wasn't convinced. But I have to say, the way they put the night manager together, the music and everything, it, he, he really pulled it off. Um, he looked like he could be a James Bond, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I think they're probably likely to have ruined James Bond for everyone now, but... Yeah, proper grown-up telly. I like that. That's a good expression. I like that. It was proper grown-up telly. Been looking for so this i've been um you know because like my, my wife and me kind of get a, a um a, a, an hour or two together in the evening to you know watch something on the tv and she's she's not a big sci-fi fan <laughs> i think most most people in a relationship kind of kind of understand that you know there's there's guys tv and girls tv and and a lot of the time it you know it does it, it does cross over but put it this way I mean we sat and watched uh, um, Star Trek: The Next Generation together when we were younger and she enjoyed that but she never really liked Star Wars and um, some of the other stuff I mean she's not a Terminator fan or anything like that you know she's just she's just not into the sci-fi stuff which is fair enough. Um, but she does like a good crime drama, and uh, that's kind of me. Um, so if there's any any time I can get a crime drama or something similar, a suspense thing, into science fiction, I'll try and get her to watch it. But most of the time that doesn't happen. Um, so we've been looking for stuff to sit down and watch together. And um, actually, we've been, we have we watched some old stuff. So uh, we, we, we ended up watching Waking the Dead. Um, I mean, a, a, a typical example of something, and this is something we watched like years ago, was uh, Life on Mars, and that you know that was kind of had a had a kind of a science fictiony feel to it, but at the same time, it was a cop drama and it had a great story to it. And so we both thoroughly enjoyed that. So something like that, she'd she'd sit and watch with me. Um, but, uh, you know, there's only so many times I can sit through Mamma Mia. Uh, so, you know, 
I can't watch things like that for too long. Um, in the same way that she's not really interested in, you know, sci-fi or Marvel or anything like that. So, getting back to it, we've, we've been looking for things to watch. So, uh, we watched Waking the Dead. We watched... Um, I, did, I found uh, a, a series called George Gently. That was a, a, a cop drama. We, we got through all that. We thoroughly enjoyed that. And um, this sounds really old. <laughs> I was out doing the gardening this week and also found some new slippers. Um, no, and um, uh, we ended up finding Foil's War, which is uh, about a policeman conducting his investigations during the Second World War. Um, and it's, it's quite a gentle program, but I'm, I'm quite enjoying that, actually. But my oh, my daughter made me sit down and watch something tonight that uh, that I think I don't know. I think it it may have broken me. Um, it have you? I, I don't know if the American uh, market has this, but something called the Masked Singer. Um, and they've been running a TV program called the Masked Dancer. And it's basically celebrities that dress up in these bizarre costumes and then dance. And they've got a panel of fuckwits um, who try to make it sound exciting while they guess who these people are. And it's, oh, God. It really is the lowest common denominator. I mean, my, in fairness to my kids, <clears throat> or in fairness to my daughter, she thinks it's shit. But she finds it funny, and so she watched it, uh, and uh, and I watched it with her, and uh, God, it was my numbing. <laughs> T TV is just so awful now. I can't get over just how bad it is. Um, it's uh, it's it's like that film is it Idiocracy? It's like. Oh God! <laughs> what have we turned into? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not looking for Shakespeare every night, but Christ, that's awful. <laughs> it really was one of the worst things I've ever watched. And then. Uh, I was watching something earlier. They were talking about that guy uh, from um, um, the car thing, Fast and the Furious 9, who apologised in Chinese to the Chinese government for saying that Taiwan wasn't a country. What a tosser. But well, <laughs> what was funny about it was that somebody had a comment. It was like, God... 20 years ago, we all turned around to each other and were saying, God, you have to learn Chinese in the future. It's like, yeah, if you want to uh, apologise to your political overlords, that's presumably what you have to do. Learn some Mandarin. No. But that's the trouble with all this corporate entertainment. It doesn't matter whether it's comics or film studios or whatever. They're... They're all at the end of somebody else's chain, aren't they? I'm still not there brushing. It's going to take me a while, I think. But I am enjoying it. It's kind of... There's something a bit... Um, I don't know. It's a bit more rock and roll, I think. <laughs> if you can say that about drawing comics. Being an artist for a living, yeah. it's not a proper job, is it? Let's face it. Um, but just, I don't know, there's just, there's an energy about Real Inks um, that I, I, I didn't feel I was getting from my digital inks. So I, I have this feeling that 90% uh, of the next only death but will probably be traditional inks 
yeah, Joe was uh, Joe really wanted uh, outliers to be traditional, so I said, "Okay, I'll do it." Um, and I got some practice in, and I'm I'm quite pleased. And you know, I certainly think it's it's uh, it's of a reasonable quality. I, I, Joe's happy with what I'm doing, so that's good. That's that's what really counts. It's keeping your clients happy. Um, okay. I think I'm going to need the other the pentel for the strong clients. Ruder on those, uh, those other lines. the curve that'll do <laughs> where are we 10 10 Ooh, that's... wrong pot oh, mm -mm. i don't know that i want to do them tonight those strike lines I'll tell you what we'll do, I can show you, um, I can show you the only death piece that, um, that I had on here last week, I think, two seconds. Pull the camera back. There we go. So that's the only death piece from last week. Um, what else have I got in here? I'll show you a few other pieces from book two. So that's from book two, um, and also from the Arrow comics. And we've got a couple of covers as well. And all this, all this will be available to purchase on book two. So um, the Arrow Comics, which is uh, uh, which will be uh, issue one, two, and three, I will have one of those comics signed um, along with the cover, uh, the original art for the cover. So that's cover one. Um, Cover two was it's in here somewhere. There's cover two. There's issue two. Um, and then on top of that, there are the uh, sort of the the world building fact file stuff um that's all going to be available as well and as i said there's a there's there's a very good chance i'm going to do this whole thing uh traditional now because i'm just enjoying myself so much uh where are we 
Yeah, that one. I think this one could possibly be popular. I've really enjoyed doing that. So that one, that's uh, Kronos. And he's one of the first ones. Uh, so he'll be available as well. There we go. So I just thought I'd sh show you that one because I was doing that last week. Thanks, Willie. Thanks to Ninja. They are BB Black Dog. They're um, a little bit different. So, yeah, Joe, yeah. What what's going on here is uh, oops. What's going on here is um, he's he's so in this bit here, he's jumping through. You can only see it in blue line. He's jumping through a um, a fake tree. So they they kind of caught him in 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 a in the forest, and he's jumping up to this um, tree that misperception has put together, and he's it's just to keep him busy while everybody's getting to the scene effectively and he's jumped through and on his way down uh the saint is waiting for him um and uh so once i finish this the next page will be um i think we've shown it on outliers so i'll see if i can pick it out for you uh, we're going artwork outlier comics one six so if I'm in the OBS if I change my scene collection to there we go well, that worked technology <laughs> um so yeah, uh, he's so he's coming down. That's that. So that's what you see on on here. With him coming down and the fist waiting for him, um, and then he he gets uh, knocked back through the trees by the saint. So I'll be doing that. Oh, I need some more whiskey. I'll be doing that one tomorrow, um, and. Uh, I, th I think maybe um, Joe will show that one on Thursday's show, actually. So I've got some other pages that I mentioned before that obviously I haven't showed anybody yet. Um, so uh, this, it's up to Joe which ones he shows on there. But I would imagine if I get this one done and it looks, uh, it, it works out as well as, as well as the pencils have worked out in ink, then um, he'll probably want to show that. So yeah, that's about it, I think. Go back to scene selection. No, yeah, it worked. Fantastic. <laughs> Love this. Right, okay, so without the strike lines, because I'm not doing them tonight. I'm not I'm not messing around with rulers tonight. So he's coming in, there's a fist boink and then you get that page that i just showed you so uh yeah it's all going down it's all happening and uh i'd say I, I like i say i'm thoroughly enjoying myself this is really good fun the work's fun um so um pleased to be able to do this all the time uh privileged is the word i would use uh, to be able to draw this kind of stuff all the time. Um, just being a freelance illustrator is great, to be honest. But um, being able to draw comics is, is definitely a privileged position. So uh, hopefully I'm entertaining people and people are enjoying what I'm doing. Um, the book the first book uh, of my book only death can save us uh is still in demand but it will be stopping on the 2nd of july i spoke to um michael bancroft over the weekend and i may be able to uh 
to hit the off button on his show live. Um, so uh, I'll be I'll be letting everybody know as much as possible over the next five weeks that it will be shutting down. Um, and then after that, it will be on to book two after I've finished Outliers and uh, and more Arrow comics. So it's been it's been quite a year so far, actually. It's been quite bonkers. Things have happened so very, very quickly. Um, but it's all good. It's all good. So um, thanks, everybody, for turning up. I was uh, thank you, Woolly and uh, and Vinny. Fantastic to have you here, and obviously everybody else. El Gargoyle, thank you, Joe, uh, the Ninja, George, and um, the Scotsman. Fantastic, thank you so much for coming. Um, I see I got some likes on on facebook all oh, right i see so the icons are buying so joe's on facebook and most everybody else yeah everybody else is on um youtube so thank you very much for those who turned up to the live stream just to listen to me babble on for an hour and do some inking um i don't know what i'll be doing next week i would imagine it will probably be outliers again although i might have a page of only death to do uh so that might be fun so I might do an, an, another Only Death Can Save Us panel next week. Um, that's, yeah, that's it for tonight. Uh, if you're watching on the replay, thank you. Thank you very much for watching the replay. If you uh, are watching on the replay and you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like and, and share. That's, that's really important if you can share it out. Um, you can find out more about my work and more about me at my websites, rustleach.com or comicbookblackbelt.com. There is an email list there. Please, you know, it costs you nothing, and you'll find out more about all the books and all the stuff that I'm doing, plus the channel and all the other kinds of stuff that's going on. Um, you can find me hanging out on Indie Vault uh, on a Thursday and a Sunday most weeks. I am on, obviously, with Joe Fulton on a Thursday uh, morning in the states uh, th thursday afternoon evening in the uk uh, and we'll talk about all kinds of things we have guests on um we talk about the comic industry in general entertainment in general um but uh even more important than that you get to see more outlier stuff as it comes out and uh, you get to find out more about the book and more about joe's uh publishing company outlier comics uh you can also still as i said only death can save us book one is still available until the 2nd of July. So uh, you can grab a copy, tell your friends. Maybe they need a copy. Uh, there is a link on the website, on the onlydeathcansavers.com website, uh, and you can click that and uh, go straight to the in-demand store. I think that's about everything. You can find me on the Twitter and on the Fleecebook uh, and usual places. Uh, like I say, if you're new to the channel, why not give it a subscribe, hit the subscribe button. That would be really cool. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. If you've already bought a book, thank you for buying a book. The second one is on its way. And I think that's it for me. I'm going to drink my last drop of whiskey. Oh, mm, 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 mm. That's really, really nice. So um, that's it from me. I'm off. Thanks very much for stopping by. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.